And what do we have here? Ah, yes. Don't think that I didn't see you hiding in the corner there. Now, if you didn't want to be seen, you shouldn't have sat at the bar. Though, I suppose it is a bit counterproductive to tease a paying customer. What is it that I can do for you? Hmm, is that all? You do know that the point of coming to a place like this is to help quench more... specialized thirsts? No? Well, if that's all you want, very well then. I suppose it is my job to make your wish my command. Though, I suspect you may be trying out some more complicated wishes before the night is over. Hmm... I suppose it only makes sense that a human would order a human drink. Though, you do know that you could have gotten something like this at any old tavern or bar. Why would someone like you come to some place like this, I wonder? Hmm? Oh yes, I knew that you were a human from the moment I saw you. Your blood is so sweet, I could have smelled it from a mile away. And I'm not the only one. Uh, no need to be afraid, dear human. I have more self-control than that, despite what your kind might be led to believe. And as for my patrons, well... Many of them are not nearly as welcoming of your kind as I am. But it's my bar, not theirs. You've got money in your pocket just the same as them. It's no difference to me as long as you pay your tap and behave yourself. Which is a lot more than some of them are willing to do. So, no. I have no reason to turn away a human. Assuming they mean us no harm. And you must forgive the others if they give you a bitter stare or two. You've been out in the world long enough to see how many of us have been maltreated as of late. These new policies have no supporters here. Monsters, people call us. As though it's a bad word and not simply the truth. But... It appears you've gotten me on a tangent. I'm sure you have no more care for our politics than I do for your human drinks. Speaking of which, here is your order, boring though it may be. Perhaps you'd be less quiet once you get some alcohol in you. That's it. Ah, are you surprised that it's good? Well... I personally don't have much taste for human drinks, but I do have a good handful of regulars that are your kind. Though, truth be told, I haven't seen many of them in quite some time. Things are changing in these lands, I'm afraid, and as far as I'm concerned, not for the better. But... It's good to hear that I still have the skill of making even the drinks that I myself would not enjoy. Now, I've been working this job long enough to know when someone's holding in a question. You can tell me, little human. I'm sure it's nothing that I haven't heard before. Ah, uh, the classic, what are you? Oh no, no need to be upset. That question does not bother me, especially since I know you meant no harm in it. I suppose it's getting harder for people like you to recognize any who are not of your own kind. These days we've been more inclined to keep out of the light, in a manner of speaking. So, I don't see anything wrong with your question. Though, I do agree that some others in this bar might take offense. I am, in fact, a vampire. Hmm. 
Does that frighten you? I suppose it may lead to some discomfort. I look as though I may be one of your own, give or take a few things. I know that my teeth must look strange to you, pointed so, though your teeth look quite strange to me as well. So small and in line with one another, it's almost cute. Ah, was that a blush? <laughs> Don't worry. It becomes you, little one. Now that we've properly met, it feels strange to go on without names. You may call me Thora, if you like. Is there something that I could call you? Ah. Uh, I'm not as familiar with human names as I once was, though that one is quite lovely. Yet another thing that suits you. There's that blush again. I wonder if it will return for every compliment. Though, I suppose I shouldn't tease you. After all, it's not often that I see humans coming into places like this with good intentions. I must be honest with you. When you first walked in, I was a bit nervous but it was easy to see that you really meant no harm. I apologize for my assumption. That's true, I suppose. You would not have known it if I had not told you just now, but I thought it would be good to keep things honest with us. To clear the air, you might say. It's so hard to have a good relationship between a human and my kind these days. I would hate to let this opportunity go to waste. As you might have gathered, I'm quite fond of humans. Much to the dismay of many of my other associates. But beyond the obvious benefits, I find that I quite enjoy your kind simply for their company. When they're not trying to hurt me and mine, of course. Ah, yes. That has unfortunately been known to happen. There's been quite a stirring within the human world, it seems. Something has changed them to turn against anything they deem as unnatural. That's why I will tend to keep my little establishment on the down-low. The harder it is for everyday people to hear about it, the harder it will be for anyone to come in here with, let's just say, unsavory intentions. Yes. Unfortunately, we have had a few incidences within these last few months, though it was nothing that I couldn't handle. You'll forgive my other patrons for being a bit wary of you, I know it seems like they could do you more harm than you could them, but many of them don't see it that way. I'm afraid that to many, you represent a group that is intent on hurting them. I tell you this not only as an explanation, but as a kind of warning, I suppose. I know... I think it's clear that you yourself have no intentions of harming us. Though, I hope you remember that things are delicate before you tell any other friends that you stumbled across this place. Speaking of which, I'm sure after everything else you'll understand my interest. Though, if any of my questions do come across as an intrusion, there will be no hard feelings if you don't want to answer. But how did you find out about this place, exactly? It's not exactly the kind of thing that gets advertised around town. Nor, forgive me, the kind of place that it seems like someone like you would want to go. I know that you're a human, but even among them, you don't seem like the type that would enjoy hanging out with all us monsters. 
If I didn't know any better, I would say you only ended up here because you got lost. Though, if that had been the case, I doubt that you would have made it into the bar before noticing what kind of place it was, and running out as quick as you had come in. You were lost? Well, I suppose I have misjudged you. Or perhaps that's not the entire truth. I suppose it doesn't really matter in the long run. As I said when we first met, a paying customer is a paying customer, regardless of how they got here. I think that despite my hesitation, and maybe even yours, I'm glad that we were able to meet tonight. It's been a long time since I've felt comfortable enough to just sit and chat with a customer like this much less one that I would otherwise be inclined to be wary of. So this has been... quite refreshing. You've reminded me of how much I enjoy speaking with strangers, and I shan't soon forget that. I'm glad to have met you, little human. I hope that we can speak again... very soon.